Hello and welcome to another video of this channel. So in this video we are going to fix the problem where we can't log in into OneDrive from OneNote. Some users have been complaining about suddenly losing the ability to log into OneDrive directly from OneNote. Most of them, the issue is reported happening with users that use OneNote 2016. Whenever this particular issue occurs, the user is prompted to insert the user credentials in order to log in. However, most users are reporting that their credentials are not accepted even though they are correct. Hitting the sign in button will simply make the login window disappear along with OneDrive. Opening the desktop version of OneNote through the web version is not applicable since it will produce the notebook does not exist or you don't have permission to open it error. If you are struggling with the same issue, the method in this video is most likely to help. We have managed to identify a couple of fixes that have helped users encountering the same type of issue. Please follow the potential fixes in this video in order until you come up with a method that resolves your situation. So in our first method, we are going to update Internet Explorer to version 11. OneNote is known to malfunction a lot of systems that don't have Internet Explorer 11 installed. As it turns out, Internet Explorer is much more than a browsing tool for Windows. A lot of Microsoft developed applications will rely on it for login purposes and OneNote is no different. With this information in mind, some users have managed to solve the issue by installing IE11 on their systems. Keep in mind that while the latest Windows version come with Internet Explorer 11 installed by default on Windows 7 and older, this is not applicable. To resolve this issue, visit the link we have provided in this video's description and download the appropriate Internet Explorer 11 version according to your language and operating system architecture. So to go through the process, let me bring up the browser window in this area. So visit this link and download the appropriate IE11 version. So once you are done with downloading the uh, required version, just go through the installer and complete the installation and then restart your PC. Once your PC boots up back, see if the issue has been resolved by trying to access OneDrive from OneNote again. If the issue is still there, proceed to our next method. Our second method is to reset OneNote app from settings and this applies to Windows 10 only. Some users encountering the same problem have managed to resolve this issue by resetting OneNote app. But from what we gathered, this potential fix is only applicable to Windows 10 powered computers. So in order to reset OneNote app on Windows 10, press Windows and R key to open up run command. In here type ms hyphen settings colon apps features and hit enter. Once you hit enter you'll get onto this screen. In the apps and features scroll through the application list to locate OneNote. Once you find OneNote click on it and then click on advanced options. In the next window, you'll see a reset button. Simply click on reset button, wait for the process to complete. Once OneNote has been reset, open it again and provide your user credentials again. You should be able to sign in and access OneDrive without any issue. If you are still not able to get through this process and the issue still exists, our third method is to add use online content value via registry editor. Now if first two methods were not successful, there's another popular fix going around but it will require you to get quite technical. When user encountering the same problem discovered that this particular issue can be resolved by using registry editor and to add a dword 32-bit value named use online content to the office folder. So how we can do that? Just press windows and R key to bring up the run command. In the run command type reg added. 
once you are in the registry editor we bring up the window so once you're in the registry editor you have to go so once you are in the registry editor move to H key current user scroll down to software go to Microsoft and then go to office in here you'll find version 14 or 15 or 16 just go to relevant folder and then common and then internet folder uh, let me just okay so the folder which is 14 15 or 16 it basically depends on the office version you are using version 16 corresponds to office 16 15 corresponds to office 2013 and the 14 version is for office 2010 if you have multiple office suites installed you will see more than one version installed in the registry editor in this case open the folder associated with the version that is causing you the issue with one node so the next move is to go ahead and in the right side just click on new menu right click on this empty area go to new and then select the word 32 bit value once you select it rename it and make it use online content and then open it to insert the value set the base to hexadecimal and put the value to 1 once you provide the value click on OK to save your changes and then close the registry editor restart your computer to enforce the changes that you just made at the next startup your one node should revert to the normal behavior meaning you should be able to sign in and access OneDrive from it now if this method wasn't successful move over to the final step that we have for you now okay so the next method that we have is to uninstall OneNote via PowerShell if all the methods so far that we have given you are turned out to be the best we have one more technical solution that might just do the trick another user encountering a similar problem has managed to overcome the issue by using PowerShell to hard uninstall OneNote then re-download it using the official channel here's the step-by-step -step guide to uninstall OneNote using PowerShell and then re-download it from the Windows Marketplace so access the Windows start bar in the bottom left corner and search for PowerShell or you can right click on the start menu and open the Windows PowerShell admin console once you open that make sure you open PowerShell in admin mode once you are inside the newly opened PowerShell window type get hyphen app x package space asterisk one note asterisk space pipeline sign space remove hyphen app x package run this command so remember that this operation effectively uninstalls one note and it's all and all its sub content from your computer this kind of uninstallation is known to produce better results than a conventional uninstall which is from programs and features so wait until the command is in process then close the elevated PowerShell prompt restart your computer and wait for it to boot it back and then visit the link we have given in this videos description let me open that here now click on download and follow the on-screen prompts to install OneNote on your computer. Once it is installed, restart your computer again 
and the issue should be resolved and you should be able to sign into OneNote. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.